What's good everybody, it's your boy Robert. I'm back with a quick video I have here, an unboxing of the Samsung A51. Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome to the unboxing of the Samsung A51. Now, if this is your first time here, please feel to hit that bell and subscribe so you can be up on any videos that drop. Now, this phone came out in December, 2019. This is not the American version. This is the unlocked uh, version that is out now. I got it off of Amazon, but um, again, uh, let's get to it. Now, this phone is an unlocked phone, GSM only. It does have the Exynos uh, chipset, so there is no um, Snapdragon on here. The Exynos 9611. Uh, it is a 10 nanometer chip, so it's one of the thicker chips, but it's a mid-range chip, which is made for mid-range phones. Uh, this phone does come with Android 10, does have Samsung's One UI 2 on there, Gorilla Glass 3, it is a 1080 phone, uh, has a 405 pixel density. It is a 20 by nine aspect ratio, 6.5 inch phone. It does, the screen takes up about 87% of the actual screen to body ratio. Uh, this is an AMOLED panel, uh, weigh about 172 grams. Uh, the front of the phone is glass, the back is plastic. I did get that, um, what is this? That uh, Prism Crush Black. So let's check it out. Uh, I got the 128 gigabyte variant. Uh, cool part here is it does come with a case, which I appreciate while I'm waiting for my other cases to come. SIM injector right there. Has your quick start guide that nobody reads. This case is actually pretty nice. Nice little tint to it. Nice case. Uh, that's pretty much it. Also, uh, the the buyer from where I got this from on Amazon gave me some Mint Mobile information. I think I already have a Mint Mobile account. So, and pretty much got your standard uh, Samsung quick charge in here. Adaptive fast charge is what they call it. You do get some uh, earbuds, rather cheap ones. They're not, you know, high quality ones, but if you have any old earbuds around the house that were Samsung related, uh, you may want to use those instead of these. These are, I don't even know if they are, yeah, they're Samsung. But uh, these are probably the worst looking Samsung earbuds I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, let me put those off to the side. I don't even think I'm ever going to use those. And here's the cable. That's pretty much it as far as what's inside the box. The one thing about this uh, this box was when I got it out of the FedEx package, it was not tape. You notice I didn't use an unboxing knife because it was not actually taped together, which was somewhat disappointing. So I hope there's no damage to the phone, the wrap and everything seems to be intact. So I'm assuming everything is on the up and up. All right, nice looking phone. That prism black, I like how it changes colors within the lights. Look how that plays off the light. Real nice setup here. So let's go over the camera really quick. Now, it does have a 48 megapixel sensor, 12 megapixel. Now the 48 is supposed to be at 2.0 aperture rating. It's like a wide angle. Then the next one is an ultra wide, the 12 millimeter. Then you got a five millimeter telephoto. And then you got a five, uh, a, uh, a five megapixel, I said milliliter, megapixel, <laughs> which is a wide angle. Oh man, my mouth, wow, what's going on? Quick boot up. While it's booting up, let me give you a um, Galaxy S10 Plus size comparison. The A51 is a little bit taller. 
and oh man it's literally it's, it's a shade shade uh thinner in width than the s10 plus uh let's get my iphone out let me put it uh take it out of this case now it's a little taller than the s11 pro max but the iphone is much wider than the a51 let's show you what it looks like with the note 10 plus note 10 plus is just a little bit taller and i'm quite sure it's going to be wider which it is by a big victory and i'm about to pull out an old school one note 9 see how it compares to the note 9 note 9 is taller and the note 9 is wider so this phone has more of a candy bar feel to it which would be pretty interesting for me uh, i prefer wider phones but i'm going to give this a go so that pretty much does it for my unboxing of the Samsung A51. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'll catch everybody in the next video. I'm out.